Hey guys, it's Mrs. Chefcheck. Today we're going to take a look at how we can use equations um, to find the total cost of items when we're working with taxes and gratuities. So gratuity is just another name for a tip, and it's a percent that's given or paid in addition to the price of a service. Um, and so somebody that you might tip would be a waiter or a waitress, um, but also maybe a hairstylist or a taxi driver or Uber driver. When somebody performs a service for you, it's customary to give them a tip on top of what you pay for the thing that you purchased. Let's take a look at an example where we have to calculate the tip and then the total cost. Sean's haircut cost $18 and he paid 15% as a tip. First, we want to find out the amount of the tip. I'm going to show you two ways for this, um, first with the proportion and then with the equation, since I know people have two methods they prefer. So first with the proportion, if we want to find 15% of $18, we're going to put 15 over 100, because it's 15 out of 100 is a percent, and then our cost before the tip was $18, and I'm going to put my X on top. Uh, to represent the part that is unknown. So 15 times 18 divided by 100 gives me an answer of x equals 2.7. Well, if we're talking about money, how would I write that? We know we want two decimal places, so it'd be $2.70. Now remember, that's just the amount of the tip. Um, I'm going to show you here how to do that with an equation as well, because um, that's what we're working towards. So to find the tip, I could also find, and I'm going to use y for the amount of the tip, um, I can write my percentage, 15% as a decimal, which is 0.15, and then multiply it by my original amount, which was $18. So this says 15% of $18, and when I do that, 0.15 times 18, I'm also going to get 2.7, or $2.70. Okay. Now we want to know how much Sean paid in total for his haircut. Well, we have to take the amount that he paid, and then we have to add the amount that he tipped on top of that. And when I do that, I have 18 plus 270, and I get a total of $20.70. Okay. Now for part C, it asks, what equation could you use to calculate the total cost of the haircut, including the tip? So if we need to write the equation, we want to make sure that we're using the decimal version of uh, the tip as we're writing this out. So if I look back at part B, I see that when he paid $18, that was 100% of the cost of the haircut, plus he paid 15% as a tip. So that's 15% added on to that 100 which means this total cost that we found was actually 115% of the original amount. So let's use that to write our equation. So we want to find our total cost. We're going to use y for that. Um, and we're going to get that by taking our original cost, which was 100% of the original cost, 100% written as a des in decimal form is just 1, all right, 1x plus 15% of x, written in decimal form, is 0.15x. And when we add that together, we will get our total cost of our haircut, which is 115% of the original amount. So our equation is y equals 1.15x. And in that way, we can find our total cost without having to find the tip separate and then add it back on. So I'll show you how we do that. We take y equals 115% of the original amount, and if I do 1.15 times 18, I do get $20.70. Um, and so I was able to do that in just one step there. Another thing we'll be looking at is sales tax. Now sales tax is a, a percent, and again, this one is added on to the price of goods or services. So we're going to calculate a tax and then add it on to our original. Edelyn bought a book at Barnes & Noble that was priced at $8.80. She had to pay a 5% sales tax. And we want to calculate first the amount of the sales tax. So 
using an equation, I'm just going to do um, 5% of $8.80. So 5% I know is 0 0.05 because to take any percent and turn it into a decimal, I divide it by 100. So 5% of $8.80 will give me 0 0.05 times 880 is 44 cents. Okay. Now that's the amount of our tax, sales tax, that she's going to have to add on to her total bill. So the total cost of the book with tax is $8.80 plus the amount that we calculated for tax, 44 cents. And we have a grand total of $9.24. Now that was her total bill, including the tax. Um, down at the bottom, we're asked, what equation could we use to calculate the total cost of the books, including the sales tax? Well, again, we had to take 100% of the original cost, and then we had to add... Five, oops, 5% 5 tax onto that. So our total was actually 105% of our original. So we're going to use that to write our equation down below. So to get our total cost, we're going to take 100% of our original, or just x. Now we're going to add 5% of x to that. And so that's going to give us an equation of 1.05x is equal to y. In other words, I'm looking at this as 105% of the cost of the original book will give us our total cost. So if I checked that, I could do 1.05 times $8.80, and I'm going to get this 924 right away. So it kind of eliminates this um, whole A and B, we could go right to the equation and have a shortcut. Now sometimes you'll see ones where tax and tip are combined, and this is like what happens in real life. You go out for lunch, you're going to have to pay tax, and you're going to have to tip your waiter. So uh, this is a good one to practice with. Sarah and Mary went to lunch. Their lunch cost $22.40. They gave their waiter an 18% tip on the amount before tax, and they were charged a 6% tax rate on the amount before gratuity. And we're looking to find the total cost of the lunch. So first, let's write an equation in the form of y equals kx to find the amount of the gratuity in dollars on an amount of x dollars. Uh, and we're going to then find the gratuity or the tip on their bill. So we're going to use y to represent the tip. And so to get that, we need to find 18% of their lunch cost before we figure out any tax. And so we're going to do 18% is 0 0.18, and we're going to multiply that by the cost of their lunch. Um, whoops, I know the cost of their lunch, actually, so I'm going to fill that in. Sorry. So 18% of 2240. And when I do 0 0.18 times 2240, I find out that their gratuity is... Now on my calculator it says 4.032, so I need to round that to the nearest hundredth, which tells me that it's going to be $4.03. That's my tip, right? That's the gratuity. Next, we want to write an equation um, to find the tax in dollars in, on an amount of X dollars and then find the tax on Sarah and Mary's bill. So to find the tax, we're going to say Y equals... Um, the tax rate written as a decimal, 0 0.06, times x, or in this case our original lunch cost was 22.40. And so I'm going to find 6% of that by multiplying these numbers, and I get y equals 1.344, which, again, we're going to round it to the nearest hundredth, which is $1.34. Now that is the amount of my tax. And now to find the total cost of my lunch, we need to take our original lunch cost, $22.40, and we're going to add our tip, $4.03, and we're going to add our tax. And once we do that, we will have our total cost of the lunch, $22.40 plus $4.03 plus $1.34 
and I get a total cost of $27.77. Here's a couple that you can try by yourself now. Um, pause the video, try the problems, and then come back to see how you did. We're looking for the total amount. All right, do you have your answers? Here they are. I can take any questions you have on this in class tomorrow, but hopefully this will at least have you prepped so that you are ready to dive into the next lesson in the book. Thanks for watching.